So in this recording, I'm going to introduce the uh, topic of population ethics and climate change. So this is a, a bit of a sort of nerdy philosophy uh, part of our climate change course. But um, it's, one of these, it's one of these philosophical issues that tends to have a big impact on how you think about uh, climate change and what we should do uh, in terms of climate policy. So um, I've, I've chosen a paper. Here, I'll show you, I've got it on this other screen. Um, so I've chosen this paper, uh, which is actually kind of trying to argue that these philosophical issues don't have that big of a, uh, or don't pose such a big problem for thinking about climate change. I'm not sure that, that it succeeds, but the, um, the reason that I chose this one is that, uh, is that it does a nice, it kind of lays out the uh, two of the three philosophical population ethics type issues that I want to talk about uh, on, in our next class. So the first one is what's called, so focus on these things. You see I've got about, this is about 15 pages. So um, what I want you to focus on is two things. One is what's called the uh, repugnant conclusion. Okay. And then the second one is called the statistic conclusion. And then I want you to think about how say total utilitarianism and uh, maybe average utilitarianism, uh, how, what sort of policies they would recommend, you know, maybe what sort of different policies they might recommend and how they would confront these two, uh, these two problems in population ethics that are public conclusion, the sadistic con conclusion. Okay. So, um, Again, so what I want you to do is think about these things and think about how they might apply to the uh, the climate or climate change or environmental issues or you know thinking about uh, what obligations we have for future generations in terms of like say climate change policy. Okay, and then there's uh, one other thing I want to talk about. So anyway, I focus on these things and uh, and then the other one actually. Let me just quick flip back here. Um, I want to talk about the non-identity problem. And this, this might even be the first one we talk about uh, in our next class. So I don't think I actually have, I didn't pull it up, but I, I put up a YouTube video for it. So the non-identity problem uh, is the issue about how we think about people that don't exist or might never exist. So, you know, do we harm somebody by causing them not to exist. And if so, that has actually pretty big implications for um, our obligations to future generations. Uh, in the video, the, uh, the person, it's about a seven minute, I think, long video, so it's a relatively short video, and in the last couple of minutes. So first five minutes, this uh, philosophy professor explains uh, what the issue is, and then in the last two minutes, uh, she's gonna apply it to environmental concerns like climate change. And again, I want you to sort of think about how this problem or how this yeah, non-identity problem poses difficulties for thinking about what we should do in terms of, of climate change policy. Okay, so again, the three big things, uh, the repugnant conclusion, the statistic conclusion, and the non-identity problem, and, the, the, and how those problems pose difficulties for us when we're choosing, uh, say, what level of carbon taxes we should choose or whether we should ban uh, polluting industries or you know how much we should give up today in order to uh, benefit future people in you know maybe 200 years so that's that that's the introduction for the next class and I look forward to talking about these issues with you guys